Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at Algorand. I do want to say that I'm not a financial advisor. You should do your own research before investing money into crypto. If you haven't seen the previous update, make sure to watch that before watching this one. It's going to be linked in the top right hand corner of the screen. Now let's jump straight into the charts. So taking a look at Algorand on the daily chart, as you can see, we had quite the move to the upside here since our last update on December 28th, I think. So that was literally the bottom there for the move. And right now we're up 19.4%, which is pretty good. So if you were able to buy somewhere around this second Fib level, you're approximately up 15 to 20%, which is pretty good in my opinion. And uh, we do have two Fibonacci retracements as always. Um, let me just show you the swing high and the swing low. So if you want to set it up as well, you can do that. The swing high is printed all the way back in November 2021 and the swing low March 2020. Now we have come back down below. Let me just remove all of this here so it doesn't distract you. So as you can see, we have moved below the 0 0.786 here, and we are having sort of a comeback, a potential back test of resistance of the 786 Fibonacci retracement because we lost that level and haven't had the back test of resistance. And this level was also retested as support back in July of 2020 and sort of in May of 2020. So this is a pretty important level we're holding here. But if we start dropping back down, if Bitcoin has a strong capitulation, a flash crash, then I do think it's possible that Algorand is going to go down below 10 cents, which is um, the swing low here that we printed in March of 2020 at 0.0955 cents. So if you want to set up a ton of buy limit orders in this area, just in case no one's going to stop you. And if you have that flash crash in 15 minutes, all of those orders are going to be filled and you have a recovery of 50% later in the week. That's just how it goes. And those would be great buying opportunities for Algorand. And uh, as you can see, we really haven't lost the um, the low here in, uh, or actually we, we just started losing the low here in the one that we printed in June. And that is quite negative because usually when you lose a key level like that, you come back and back test it as resistance, which is technically what we're doing right now, as you can see. We're coming back up to retest that level as resistance and we're going to get sent back down potentially. Now, once we print that local high, that local high, we're going to be able to drop another Fibonacci retracement here from the top to the bottom, let's say, potentially. Uh, let's do this. Let's say the 786 is going to be our local high. We drop a Fib with the swing low uh, as the December 29 low and we get our 1.618 target slightly below 14 cents. But for that, we need to print the local high to see what is our potential move to the downside if we start losing the December low. Now, you could also run into the 55 EMA here on the daily. And uh, you also have the support trend line, well, previous support that you created here in December at the start of December, actually, and you haven't retested that as well. So there's a lot of resistance in this area. And if I bring back the uh, other drawings that we had. Let me just, uh, there we go. As you can see, we have a resistance block here. We lost this support block. It turned into resistance and now we're coming back up to retest it. And then we're going to have another move to the downside. The yellow trend line is actually the March 2020 bottom. You also have the yellow resistance trend line above at uh, sitting somewhere around 25 and a half cents. And uh, that is also the high that we printed in June of 2020. So that could be a level we can be targeting. And we do have another resistance block above us, which is based off of the lows that we printed throughout 2022. So in June, September, October, eventually we lost it in November here and we went all the way down. So that is another level to keep an eye on. And on top of that, we had a different Fibonacci retracement here. So let's zoom in on this one and see what's going on. So on this one, we have our swing high November 22nd uh, or November 4th, rather 2022. And our swing low is all the way back here, June 19th, 2022. 
Now we lost the 1.618 level here and we are back below the second fib level briefly and now we're having a retracement. So the 1.618 here at around 20 cents is going to be a major resistance level. So as you can see, a lot of a lot of indicators showing us that there is a huge resistance level, a huge resistance area really in this re region here. So breaking above 23 cents would be really strong on Algorand's part, but I don't think that's going to happen unless we either get some specific Algorand news or bullish news for Algorand's project, or we have a uh, a rally across the board. If we see Bitcoin, Ethereum, and major altcoins pumping, we're going to see that money coming into lower cap altcoins and middle mid cap altcoins. So in that case, Algorand can go with the market. But in this scenario here this is simply a lower high and then a continuation of the trend that's just the way it is in a bear market until we stop increasing the interest rates nothing will really change so you have to remember that and i think the interest rates well per the fed they're gonna still be increasing the interest rates by 25 basis points potentially in february and in march and hopefully in may they're going to stop increasing the interest rates until they start cutting them at the end of 2023 or early 2024. That's my theory for now. Now, as you can see, we did go into the oversold here on Algorand in December, and we had a major breakthrough. Look at this breakthrough that we're having. This is crazy. Uh, look at this move to the upside. This was a pretty good, this is a pretty good swing trading opportunity, to be honest with you, but you have to take a look at the four hourly and the 12 hourly charts and take a look at the RSI and see if it's oversold or rather overbought. I do apologize, but I do own some Algorand and personally I am not swing trading any because I don't want to risk and my assets in such a way because this is fairly close to the Bitcoin bottom and I don't want to sell right before we start that strong relief rally into spring. So I'm just going to hold my horses for now. It's not that important. So that's something I'm looking for is waiting for that relief rally come March, come April. And also keep an eye on this blue support block here. We have retested it many times. And once you wick below it, you typically see a very strong breakout, just like we did here. As you can see, every single time you wick below or you rather go below the support block, you have a major breakout. You went here, major breakout. You went below here, major breakout. So, uh, yeah, that's something that has been happening consistently since we started retesting it all the way back here in, in July and June of 2021. So that's that's it for the RSI side of things. Now, I do want to switch over to the weekly Binance chart. And before we continue, I quickly want to ask you, do you value your privacy? If the answer is yes, then you must take a look at ExpressVPN. ExpressVPN offers you the privacy that you deserve, no activity logs and no connection logs. Your internet provider won't be able to access anything and anyone using the same open free Wi-Fi in the cafe as you won't be able to do any harm or breach your security. You can use the ExpressVPN application on any device. You can connect it to your PlayStation, or you can even connect it to your router so that anyone who connects is automatically secured. Or if you're looking to access any region blocked content on your streaming platform, well, ExpressVPN can do that as well. If you're living in the Netherlands and you want to access a TV show that's only available in Japan, well, my friend, you can do that with ExpressVPN. You can use the link down below in the description and get a discounted price along with three extra months for free. You can uh, get your money back if you don't like it, but I don't see any reason why you wouldn't like it because we all need the privacy and in today's age especially. And you can also pay with Bitcoin, so that's a really cool feature as well. And let's get on with the video. Taking a look at the weekly, as you can see, we are coming back above the support trend line that we lost in November, or rather December, I should say, and we're almost, almost uh, rejecting it as resistance. We're just slightly above it right now, but really, it all depends where the candle closes. And uh, what's what day is today? Saturday. So we still have a day of trading until we close this candle. And if it closes above 
perfect, but there is a good chance that we might just come back down below it and, clo and close the candle below the yellow uh, resistance, which is going to be negative. However, if we do see a break to the upside and a continuation, uh, a retest of the 20 MA would be a possibility. Also, a retest of the top light blue resistance trend line would be a possibility as well. Uh, just like we retested it here at the start of November, we could very well retest it once again in January and then come back down lower. So that's something to look out on the weekly chart. But overall, I think these are good buying prices for Algorand. Maybe just wait until this small relief rally plays out and we have a little retracement because as you can see, two green candles. You should have been buying these big red candles. And uh, yeah, that's... That's for the weekly chart, the absolute bottom that we have here in terms of the candles and the swing lows that we have on the chart is the March 2020 pullback at 14 cents. I think uh, we are probably going to go lower than that in my opinion because at some point we're going to see a major wick and a major flash crash for Bitcoin and a major uh, minor capitulation because miners still haven't capitulated and that usually is the last sort of indicator that the Bitcoin bottom is either very near or it has already been printed. So just be on the lookout for these flash crashes. They may happen just like they did over here. And then we might have that recovery into uh, August or into May, April. Taking a look at the indicators here, we're getting good volume candles, by the way. So if we start seeing a breakout from the uh, above the yellow resistance trend line and the volume is going to start getting better and better and increasing that's going to be good that's going to be a confirmation stochastic don't even want to look at it it's in the oversold this is a buying opportunity based on that the MACD is just having a EMA squeeze which is basically when the moving average the yellow moving average bounces off the red signal trend line and this is because we we're on our way to create a bearish cross here, but as you can see, the price started retracing to the upside, and that is why we're having this little uh, this little squeeze here. But I wouldn't buy into this hype that we're back in the bull market in the next couple of months or something like that. I think that we need to chill dollar cost average and just wait until uh, the bull market organically starts. And uh, taking a look at the weekly RS RSI here, as you can see, we do have a pretty strong support level here. We have retested it twice, so once in June, once in December. This is an ascending support trend line, so keep an eye on this. This is pretty important because, uh, as you can see, we are printing a bullish divergence. As you can see, the RSI is printing a higher low. As you can see, the first low is here, the second low is higher, and the price action is printing a lower high, or a lower low, rather. Getting my words mixed up here. So the RSI is printing a higher low while the price action is printing a lower low. This is a bullish divergence and this could very well lead into a pretty strong relief rally with us retesting the 20 EMA somewhere around 26 cents. So be on the lookout for that. That could provide us with a nice swing trade opportunity. Now that should be everything for this video. I don't want to take any more of your time. Thank you all for watching. If I missed out anything important on the charts, please let me know down below in the comment section. Feel free to check out my Patreon and my Twitter. Links are in the description. I'm going to see you in the next one. Goodbye and good night.